professor, what is that you're reading? The YouTube comments section for the new Call of Duty trailer. Do I even want to know? The reactions are negative, and completely not unexpected. Why is that, professor? Well, Chloe, have you ever heard of a phenomenon called franchise fatigue? I vaguely recall it. Could you tell me what that is again? Certainly. And, you know what that means? We are going to the ship of understanding. Exactly. We've already spoken about AAA studios before on how their annual franchises are damaging their brands and thus inching them closer and closer to an all too inevitable crash. One of the first major signs that they're getting close to the edge of that cliff is a phenomenon called franchise fatigue. What is franchise fatigue? What would happen, Chloe, if every manga you read were the same with only small variations? I would get very bored very quickly. That, in essence, is the basic description of franchise fatigue. Each new Call of Duty game after Modern Warfare 4 has been just that. They're basically the same game, with only the story and settings changed. There is really nothing that radically new about Infinite Warfare. Yes, it is set in space, but the majority of the play mechanics seen in the trailer come from previous games in the franchise like Advanced Warfare, and the Black Ops side of the franchise. It proves what I've been saying, that annual franchises encourage repetition leaving little room for innovation and new ideas. But. Why does it encourage that kind of repetition, Professor? It's simple. Just like what's happening in the mobile gaming market, this is the exploitation of addiction for the sake of profits. There is a subset of the gaming community who are very addicted to Call of Duty. These same people are the ones who are the loudest in the community. They are very defensive when someone criticizes the franchise. These same people are very resistant to change, and because of this Activision has little incentive to radically change Call of Duty, and even littler incentive to give the franchise a rest of a few years. But, the rest of the gaming community is growing tired of the repetition. Every year, more and more of them are leaving the franchise behind. The loudest? Most die-hard, addicted fans aren't enough to bring in the revenue Activision needs to keep up the annual release cycle. The costs for each new game in the franchise just keeps rising, which means each new release ought to sell better than the last or the company could fall into bankruptcy. This is the new paradigm of the AAA gaming industry, and except for Ubisoft with their Assassin's Creed franchise none of them seem interested in changing course to avoid disaster. They're blind to the reality that the majority of their fans want something new. How can they be so out of touch with what their fans want? Well, I think in a way they do know to a point, and Activision's latest move suggests they understand what's happening, but are still unwilling to do what's necessary to turn things around. What have they done? Almost universally, the Call of Duty fanbase agree that the last good game in the franchise was Modern Warfare 4. Activision made a remastered version of the game with modern graphics for the current gen consoles. But, to get it you must buy Infinite Warfare. I see, they realize they're losing fans because of the repetition. So instead of innovating they bait them with something they want to guarantee profits. That's a dick move, that is not how you treat your fans. Activision isn't willing to give up the Call of Duty cash cow, or to be more accurate Bobby Kotick isn't willing to give it up. Given his past track record, it is unlikely this isn't his doing. Like so many other AAA studio executives he thinks only of the profits, and doesn't consider what his decisions will do to the company in the long term. It is a complete lack of ethics. Some fanboys will argue that it's a company's job to do whatever is necessary to make money. True, businesses are in business to make money, however. It is, how, the company makes money that is important. In the world of business there are rules of ethics, and for a long time now many industries, not just gaming, have been ignoring those rules. It has been profit at any cost, and to ensure laws and regulations don't get in the way many industries have been investing significant amounts of money into political lobbying. Then there are these secret trade deals like the TPP, deals which would give American corporations unprecedented power over foreign nations. It is scary
theory just how much this trade deal would violate the sovereignty of foreign countries. It's even scarier that large portions of this deal are classified, and that those who will be voting on the deal aren't even allowed to read it or even talk about it even if they were allowed to see the text of the deal in full. What they're trying to do in secret is monstrous, and we wouldn't even know about if it hadn't been for WikiLeaks. Basically, Wall Street, in secret is trying to usurp the sovereignty of foreign nations to cement their global dominance. Doesn't Hillary Clinton support TPP? Yes, she does, which is why it is vital she never wins the presidency. The same mentality behind TPP, is the same mentality that is driving the AAA studios into actions which are ultimately self-destructive. Professor, what can we do to change all of this? The same thing I keep saying. Contact your representatives in both houses of Congress, or whatever parliament of whatever country you are in. Tell them not to support this trade deal, and don't let up on the pressure until they listen. Alone, one voice can't do much, but if we all work together towards the same cause we can do the impossible. As for the AAA industry, as I have said many times before, let your voice be heard, and your loudest voice is the one that comes from your wallet. Don't be pressured into buying a game you don't want just because you want that remastered Modern Warfare 4. The only way you can get your message across to them is to hit them where they can't ignore you. And don't just do it once, but every time they do something like this. Every time you give in and buy one of their games you're just encouraging them to keep doing the same thing over and over again, and complaining about it afterwards in forums and social media isn't going to fix anything. You have to dig in your heels and not give in not even once. If you want change, do something about it. Don't just sit there crying about it on the internet after spending $80 on a game you don't like. Wasn't it Einstein who said you can't fix a problem using the same energy used to create it? It's not the exact quote, but it's close enough. He also said doing the same thing over and over again while expecting different results is the very definition of insanity. So, Buying the same game from the same franchise over and over again and expecting Activision to change is crazy? Exactly. The same thing can also be said of electing the same establishment politicians over and over again, and expecting change each time. I totally agree.